Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on how to easily find the solutions to a trigonometric equation using the Casio FX CG50. The CG50 provides a really easy and straightforward way of being able to find all of the solutions to a trigonometric equation in a given interval. Now before we get started on this I'm just going to perform a reset. Uh, when I tried to do this earlier I wasn't quite getting the right solution so I found that if I reset it we're ready to go. Don't worry the type of reset that we're going to perform isn't going to erase any of your apps or anything like that but do make sure that you've not got anything that you're working with stored in the memory if you're going to follow along with this because it will be erased. So let's go down to system and then F5 for reset and we're going to choose F2 for main memory and that's just going to clear that out for us. F1 to confirm and then exit to come out of that. So let's press menu and go back to run matrix where we're going to do our solving. Let's take a look at the first of two questions that we've got here. We have to solve the following equation for theta giving your answers to three significant figures where appropriate in the interval indicated and we've got an equation of eight cosine theta equals five and we have an interval for theta there of negative two pi to positive two pi so between minus two pi and two pi now the feature that we're going to be using on this is solve n now I'm not quite sure what the N stands for. It might be solve numerically or solve for numbers because we do get a numerical solution from this. So let's just find out where that is. If you press option and then we want to choose the option calc. So it would be F4 for calc. And then in this menu, you can see, well, there's two solves that are uh, presented here. We want the one on the right hand side, solve N over here so that's f5 and you should see that that's now on the screen with a set of brackets opened up that we can then input some information it's worth just pausing a moment here let's just double check your calculator should be in radians for these so your angle unit should be in radians remember the interval that we're given here is radians so just make sure that your an angle unit is radian which it is in this case so we can go forward now the first thing we want to do is to input our equation so it's going to be 8 cosine now I'm going to use the x theta t button over here now because we've reset that's going to give us an x here instead of theta as, as written in the question don't worry about that too much our solutions for x are going to be the same as what would be the solutions for theta so we're just going to substitute x for theta in this case we're still going to get all the answers that we want now we want an equals but don't press execute on this you can see equals is here as a shift function as a second function of the decimal point or the dot down here so it's shift and then equals will give us an equals there then we want five so eight cosine x equals five now we're going to make good use of this button here the comma button in the next stage because we're going to set up the interval so that the calculator knows what interval to solve this for otherwise there would be an infinite number of solutions so we have to be able to restrict what the calculator needs to work to so we're going to input the interval now so what you want to do is press comma first and you need to think of it as well we're going to solve 8 cosine x equals 5 we're going to solve 4x so we're going to press x again comma between the interval of minus 2 pi now if we want a pi remember it's shift and this button down here times 10 to the x to give us a pi so solve for x in the interval of negative 2 pi comma to 2 pi so that's the upper limit there so we've got the equation the variable we're solving for x the lower limit and the upper limit of the interval there and we can now close the brackets and the calculator has all the information that it needs so all we need to do now is press execute now it does flash up a warning here more solutions may exist I think that's just a general warning that there might be certain situations where it doesn't catch every solution certainly in the two 
questions that we're doing here it's got all the relevant solutions i would probably say that's the case for 99 percent of the calculations you, you're going to be doing so try not to worry about this one too much uh, we'll just press exit and then we should find here in the brackets above if we just navigate up we should have our solutions now there are four solutions to this particular equation we can see that we've got them written here in decimal form remember we need to have it to three significant figures so we can write these four solutions down to three significant figures and we've answered that particular question okay let's have a go at another question here this one will have two more solutions in fact six solutions in total we've got sine 3x equals and we've got square root 3 over 2 between the interval for x of 0 and 2 pi so we want to find all the solutions and we're going to get exact answers for these solutions as well which the calculator does give for us so that is really good so we just need to press solve n to get started again or we'll navigate down first to get to the uh, new line solve n if you'd come away from the menu here it's option and f4 for calc and then solve n at f5 and we need to set it up in the same way again so equation is sine 3x this time it is in terms of x so we've got the right uh, letter straight away shift and decimal point gives us an equals and then press the fraction button first in this case i think it's a lot easier and then square root three navigate down and we've got two then on the bottom and then we want to just navigate right to get back to the main working line so that we can then input our interval so remember we're using the comma to do this comma we're solving for x and then comma we want the lower limit solving for x between naught and comma and then the upper limit is 2 pi so we've got all the information there so all that's left now is to close the right bracket just double check we've got everything and then press execute and once again we've got the warning there that more solutions may exist but I think in this case we're going to get all the solutions that we need to so press exit and here we can see on the row above there we just navigate up we've got all the solutions so one ninth of pi two ninths of pi seven ninths of pi and so on we've got all six solutions in that given interval for the equation that we have so there we go how we can use the solve n feature on the casio fx cg50 to find all the solutions to a trigonometric equation within a given interval don't forget to subscribe for future videos but that's it for this video thanks again for watching and i will see you next time on the calculator guide